due tonight, more than three years after a violent Jackson crime spree that left a young woman dead, her friend shot in a family carjack, justice is served. Trey Cheney, charged with first degree murder and a laundry list of other crimes, stands before a judge today and halts his murder trial by admitting he's guilty. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Carnaggio takes us inside the courtroom. Trey Cheney walks into the courtroom, but it's not a jury of his peers who determines his fate in his first degree murder trial. He does plead guilty. Here in my hand, a request for acceptance of plead guilty and petition to waive trial by jury in the way of appeal. Cheney was allowed to plead guilty to second degree murder and five other counts, admitting he shot and killed his 18 year old ex girlfriend Daphne Kenner in October of 2011 outside an apartment complex on Old Hickory Boulevard. You understand that if you enter a plea guilty to a criminal offense and the court accepts that plea, and you're going to have a conviction on your record for this particular offense. Cheney also pleaded guilty to shooting Kenner's friend who survived, carjacking a family trying to run over an officer and exchanging gunfire with another. The officer's bullet grazed the back of Cheney's head. The plea deal allows the now 21-year-old a possible life in prison sentence. The sentencing for the seven counts will run concurrently, resulting in a 40 year sentence without the possibility of parole. Are you pleading guilty because you think that's the best course for you, all things considered? Yeah. Cheney will receive three years credit for his jail time since his 2011 arrest. In downtown Jackson, Brian Carnaggio, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. Prosecutors say Cheney has a pending case for allegedly assaulting a Madison County jailer in March of last year. He's charged with attempted aggravated assault. Now, though we asked, the families as well as prosecutors and police declined to comment today.